Hey YouTube, so this is the other guy coming to you today. So in today's episode, I want to show you something I bought. It is a heavy duty relay for things that you want to build around your car, your truck. If you are interested in uh, new circuits, this is the relay to buy for me. I'm not, not, not for you, but for me. What I'm, what I, what I want to do. So anyway, this is that relay. It's a heavy duty relay. It's rated at 120 amp. It's for a 12 volt system. So I'll show you what this is. These are line posts, right? And so uh, these are, uh, th this is the coil right here, okay? So if you pass a 12 volt uh, uh, electrical uh, charge through this post, this post, there's a um, electrical conductor in here, a coil that um, magnetizes a switch, which jumps the, uh, the that which jumps these two together, connects these two together, and uh, passes it, and then these two passes electro electrical current between the two posts here, and that's what it is, and that's what this is for. Okay, so basically, 85 and 86 is the coil here okay 8586 right here and uh if you look at here this is 87 and 30 okay 87 30 are these two posts right here terminals right here okay and they are uh for your battery lines okay one battery line goes here with the other battery line goes here and when you pass electrical current through here it goes poop connects this point with this little line or post right here together electricity runs free okay and that's how you do it so this is what i'm going to do i have a system installed in my forerunner big bertha and uh this is what i'm i'm getting from uh what i have i'll show you so here is a heavy duty golf cart relay okay and uh, what the what this is for is these are used for golf cart carts, and it powers uh, uh, the go golf carts uh, that uses electricity. Okay, and so uh, this is the uh, positive uh, line right here. It's red, and the ground line right here. And so when when this these two act are activated, okay, electrical currents are passed through here. These two posts, okay. And it works just like the other relay, uh, energizes, and um, there's a switch which connects this post to this uh, this this terminal to this terminal, um, and then it completes the connection and thereby passes electricity on onward. Okay, so basically a relay is sort of like a gate. Okay, it closes and opens, and so that's what this is. But what I discovered, okay, and I'll show you why I I'm switching this out. I'll show you. So here, I have another one on my truck. You see that? So what I'm discovering here, I've had this thing running in my truck for about four years now. And what I'm finding out is that this thing powers all my lights, okay? And so basically, what I'm finding out is that sometimes this thing stops working and it stops working on the open position and when I turn my lights on, this this thing doesn't um, click on. And so what I have to do, I have to come here and tap like that in order for it to click. And so I find it very cumbersome and I don't trust it to, to, to work all the time because of what's been going on with me, okay, with, with this. So, and the reason why I'll show you, the reason why I am deciding to change here this thing is because i don't want it to die on the open and not uh, not to work on me the reason is because this relay right here is used to run that fan and if this relay should die okay if this relay should die that fan will not work and you know what happens my car overheats and that's a no-no for me so uh, for right now my understanding is that this is not really dependable based on what I... Okay guys, so this is what we got here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by 
removing these right here, okay? I've already pre-loosened them, so I'm gonna remove them. So, these two terminals here, okay, these, this and this, positive and negative, are gonna go here and here. This one right here is gonna go here, here and this one is gonna go here, okay? Guys, this is this is what I did. Okay, these are the terminal uh, posts for the battery. Okay, and these are the two controlled uh, terminals. Okay, this right here goes here, and this right here goes here. Okay, and then these two, and then this right here goes to the radiator. This is a thermostat right here. Okay, so this right here goes here, and uh, once I hook up the battery, everything comes alive. Not alive, but everything comes, uh, yeah, alive in a way. But, and then once I turn on the engine, the thermostat is the one that activates the, the switch here, which jumps the current. So this is that golf cart uh, relay. Okay, so I am done guys and this is how I'm gonna put this thing right here I'm gonna start the engine and let the engine heat up and uh, we'll see how the fan works all right so I'll show you the six circuit here okay this line right here it's the ground line but it travels to the radiator and inside the radiator, I put a thermostat in there, okay? So basically, the thermostat is always open. And uh, when it gets hot, the thermostat slowly closes, okay? To a certain temperature, the thermostat closes. And then it makes contact with this. It will, it, then it grounds this line. And so when, it, when, the, when the contact closes, it lets electricity course through this little coil right here okay go goes from from here from here to here okay so as electricity courses through these two posts right here uh what it is is uh, the the coil here it uh, turns on and then this it flips the switch and makes these two come into contact with each other and then it closes this circuit right here Okay, it goes poop like that and it closes it and then it sends power to the fan that's what it is so let's go turn on the engine and let the engine run hot and uh, you'll see how the fan turns on so it's gonna it's gonna be a while before the engine uh, gets hot so I'll let you see how the how the uh, fan comes on. So the fan comes on at about 200 degrees. Right now it's 184, and we'll wait till it comes back to about 200 degrees, and it will come on. Okay, that's cool. There you go. And there it comes. And that's how it is, guys. So as soon as it comes on, you can see the 
temperature drop. It's amazing. So that's how you start a circuit here, guys. So anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. If you, if you like this uh, idea, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook. Uh, follow me on YouTube.